the timing for how a supplement is getting into your body is actually something we don't spend enough time thinking about. When I look at a list of supplements that are really important for the patient to get into their bloodstream, but it first must go through their mouth, into their gut, and then absorbed into their body. So step one is if I'm looking at things like oral testosterone boosters, uh, if I'm looking at vitamin D, which is a fat-based hormone, if I'm looking at fish oil, uh, again, a fatty uh, substance, you want to give the best absorption for that. And it's on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Priming it with a little acid can actually help your system to absorb it a little bit better. I'm not a big fan of apple cider vinegar, but it turns out when they would pre-dose with a little apple cider vinegar, they would absorb those fat-based hormones a little better. The danger of putting all of them in at once, people think, boy, can your body get all that nutrients absorbed? And the key that I remember is it's a lot better absorption if you have the chemistry on the other side improve, meaning your blood sugars are controlled, you're not in a fog of insulin, which is usually what happens when they put in a bunch of you know, processed food or too much food, and then they take their supplement. So lots of the supplements do say, don't take on an empty stomach, but I would contend that you have to think of that absorption. So prime the stomach with a little acid. Don't have your gut full of food at the time that you take those supplements. That's what I tell my patients to do. I want every spendy little uh, a resource because they are expensive to get absorbed.